Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'm going to show you how to use your Toyota Prius as your power generator for your house. My electricity just went out a couple of minutes ago, and it's Christmas Eve, and I do not think the power company is going to be able to turn this on tonight. And this has happened to me a few times now. So the first thing you want to do is get in your vehicle, get us started. You can see my car is running. I got the stereo off, as many things. As you can turn off, turn them off. I even unplugged some of the, my cigarette lighter adapters. While my lights are off, my headlights are off. So everything's turned down. So you want to get your inverter here hooked up. And don't go into the cigarette lighter port. And I have mine hooked up here. Here's my positive cable. Here's going to be my negative cable right here. Try not to go directly to the negative terminal. You want to have it a little bit further away. If possible, if you're leaving this in the garage running, you want to crack the garage door a little bit. Make sure nobody's walking inside there. It might get a little dangerous. I'm in the open here, so I really don't have a lot to worry about. I'm going to be hooking up a power inverter right to the front here on my 2016 Prius. My battery is located in the front. On your older Prius, it might be in the trunk. Do not... Use your interior cigarette lighter for this purpose. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my inverter. My inverter's turned on. This is a sine wave inverter, so you could run things off, off this, like your modem or a laptop. It's for a lot of times for digital devices. Uh, they tend to be a little bit more expensive, but this one was under 50 or 40 bucks when I got it. And it's worked really well. Now I'm going to take just a regular extension cord, plug it in. And I'm going to run the other end of this to my house. And if you're running this vehicle, you, what you want to do is pay attention to any kind of uh, dangerous fumes like the exhaust. So if you have it parked in your garage, you may want to crack a window, crack the garage door uh, up a few inches. That way the, the garage has a chance to really vent. And the other thing to note on here is do not try this on a regular vehicle. Gasoline motors are not really meant to idle for extended periods of time and uh, some of the hybrids like a Honda Insight this idea would not work too well on because that's a different setup and uh, this works really well on these Priuses my inverter has power I'm gonna turn this off I'm running this cord inside my house here so I got my cable running inside the house here and up where my TV, my modem, and my wireless router are all hooked up. And between the cable that runs to the vehicle and what I have plugged in, I have a power meter like this. Before you turn on power at the vehicle, you want to go ahead and have the surge protector here. You want to have it turned off. Back of the vehicle, the Prius is on. You can hear that little bit of a humming noise. And I'm going to turn this on. Now my inverter has power. Back of the TV here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. And just keep an eye on your wattage. I'm only using about 12 uh, watts of power right now. That's with the TV being completely turned off. my router and my cable modem now have power alright so I'm only consuming about 116 watts of power here and I have Netflix on I even went ahead and plugged in a little tiny light which is LED there you go 116 watts and I'm not even loading up the inverter yet and I'm going to turn up my dimmer a little tiny bit so you guys can actually see my gas reading on here. My gas reading is a little bit shy of being full right here. So we're going to keep an eye out on that. And the time right now is 4.10. And I'll try to give you guys an update later on on how, the, how many times the car has possibly started and how the gas is doing.
And the Prius just started for the first time right now. And the time is 4.44. And one thing to note on here, you do not want to have this in a closed garage or a closed area. The car is still going to turn on and you may uh, be getting some kind of poisoning if you do this for a long term without having proper ventilation. Alright, so it ran for about a minute, 30 seconds before it turned back off. One thing I did want to note on here, I just plugged in my uh, Christmas lights and it jumped up to 280 from like 130, 140. So, things like little lights there, unless they're LEDs, do take up a lot of energy. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. You want to make sure you don't max out your inverter, uh, which I'm doing right here, but I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. All right, so the time is 10.32, and the gas level has not changed, and the regular battery is actually showing that it's a little low, so the car just came online. All right, so we, you can see the motor's on, and the motor's basically powering up the the main hybrid battery. All right, so that ran for about a minute 30, a minute 40, and it turned back off. All right, so my inverter's running here. The wires are not hot here. Wires are not hot here. It's a very small load and no faults if it turns red that means basically he's got a fault you may have to reset it all right so it's 1 14 in the morning and the power just came back on you see what's going on inside the prius here and the battery's got uh about three bars and the gas looks like it's moved a little tiny bit uh, in the last, I think, nine hours, but it worked really well, got me the, what I needed. And if you notice the range versus the last time I showed you guys, the range has dropped about four miles. But I'm really happy with the setup on here. I don't try to use it all the time, but when the power does go out, this definitely helps me out. So I still have this plugged in. I just want to point out something out that uh, with the setup I ran last night, you're not going to be able to run things like a PS4. If you try to turn on your PS4, it's just going to go ahead and reset on you. The initial surge of it is overwhelming for the inverter and it can't do it. But you're definitely going to be able to use smaller boxes and the small hubs that are built into these TVs. And I'm still running off that Prius power. I just turned it on so just to show you guys one last second. Internet and everything is up and running. And I'll have a link to the sine wave inverter here. And also a bigger inverter that power up a PS4 off that or a bigger computer. I'm not able to launch my tower off this as well. It does work with the laptops. All right, so in conclusion, in order to do this successfully, you want to make sure that you ground out to some part of the body here and make sure you're in a well ventilated area and your vehicle is secure. If you live in an apartment building, this may be not possible for you to do as anybody can take off with your vehicle. And I hope this video helps you guys out. Please leave your comments and your questions below and have a great day. Let me know if you guys have any comments, hit the subscribe button, and I really appreciate your continued support.